Good morning! For today's video lesson, we are going to find out what makes them so special. Let's go and learn! Class, welcome to Science 4, Module 9, for Quarter 2, Week 2. Module 9, discuss about animal adaptation. The learning competency for Module 9 is infer that body structures help animals adapt and survive in their particular habitat. Class, I want you to observe the picture. Can you name the animals in the picture? Where do you think these animals live? What are the different habitats of animals? Let us find out. Before we proceed, let us first define the word habitat. Habitat is the particular place or environment where animals live. Animals live in a particular habitat where they can breathe oxygen, find food, water, shelter, and protection, and can grow and produce. Aquatic animals Aquatic animals are animals live in rivers, lakes, ponds, seas, ocean, and other bodies of water. Seas and oceans are salt water, where fishes, sharks, octopuses, shrimp, and squid live. Aquatic animals or marine animals use their body parts for moving and now let us first answer the question where do animals live yes you are correct animals live in water and on land how do animals survive in water? Class, I want you to observe the animals in the aquarium. As you can see, they can breathe in water. Their body covering is colorful, most of the time glossy, and you can see and compare each body covering to one another. Where do they use it to survive in their habitat? Let's take a look and let us find out what are the body structures of animals that live in water. Here are the examples of animals that live in water and their body structures. First, we have fish. Fish are covered with scales for protection from diseases and from other animals that live in water. Their scales are smooth and slimy, arranged overlapping from head to tail so as the water slips smoothly as it moves forward. Fish have gills for breathing underwater and fins and tails for swimming. Another example, shrimp and lobster. Shrimp and lobster 
are covered with outside skeleton or exoskeleton. Exoskeleton helps to survive and cover yourself in the water. Clamp and muscle. Clamp and muscle are covered with shells. Class. Are all of these parts important? Yes, because they help them survive in water. Animals have body structures that help them adapt to water. The word adaptation means adaptation is the ability of organism to adapt or cope to the environmental conditions of the place where they can live. Class, can you name the animals in the picture? Yes, the animals in the picture are dog, butterflies, birds, snake, goat, ants, and many more. Where do these animals live? These animals live on land. And how do you think these animals survive on land? What body structures do they have? Let us find out. The animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals means animals that live predominantly or entirely on land. Example, cats, dogs, ants, birds, goats, etc. What are their body parts and uses? The body parts and uses of animals that live on land or terrestrial animals are the following. Some animals are covered with fur to keep them warm. Some have smooth skin for breathing like worms. Most body covering of animals are for protection. Animals have body parts for moving like legs for walking and wings for flying. Land or terrestrial animals have lungs for breathing. Other animals can live both on land and water like turtle, frog, and crocodile. They are both aquatic and terrestrial animals. After learning the different habitats and body structures of animals that makes them adapt to their habitat, I want you to get your science notebook and ball pen. You are going to answer the following questions. For your directions, choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper.